Greetings, greetings. This is Jennifer from Jennifer's Closet. Bringing you another bag for the four Texas sisters. Visit our blog, four Texas sisters, all spelled out with the number four at the beginning. Four Texas sisters.com and our Etsy shop where this bag will be until it's gone. Uh, four TX sisters.com. That's our Etsy shop. When I get this up on ANSI, I will put a link out there for you. We have a, uh, like I said, this is another camo bag. This is what I call a mid sized camo bag. The front pocket is off of a pair of uh, camo shorts. The solid color is off of a pair of um, dockers, man's dress pants dockers. Um, anyway, the inside. I like to gauge pockets by cell phones because people carry cell phones more than they carry anything else. So that, that fits fine in that, that uh, pocket and you can Velcro it shut. Fits fine. Plenty of room. You put something else in there. I would put my wallet in there most likely. On the back side, some people are so, so tied to their phone that they, they just couldn't bear to put it behind Velcro. So, guess what? This pocket right here will hold that phone for you so that it's just, just a quick, got it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, on the side we have a small pocket. Um, I put this here. My sister Deb likes to put her sunglasses in that pocket. Um, also, if you carry business cards, that, that would probably fit for your business cards. I'm trying to find a business card. I'm sorry. Uh, not good. I should have been more prepared. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see if that works, huh? There we go. Carry business cards. Me, personally, if you've watched any of my other videos, you're going to know that chapstick's going to go in here, folks. That's where I keep my chapstick. That's importante to me. Okay, on the let's take the cell phone out. Um, over here, it is an adjustable strap. Over here, we've got a couple of places for pens. I I like to carry a pen and a pencil. Spot big enough for a bigger sized pen, and I like mechanical pencils because I got the hook on them, um, and they're always sharp. So that's what that would be for. I sometimes have been known to grab my bag and go. So it's got a it's got a go handle here. <laughs> That's what I would call it. Anyway, uh, let's open this up. Uh, zipper I hand dyed. Can't see much of that. Inside, that's hand dyed. It's a rayon um, soft, um, nice lining. This is hand, like I said, hand dyed. Nice big pocket there. Easy peasy to put the cell phone. I could probably even put my Kindle in there. I haven't tried, but I have a Kindle Fire 8. And yes, it would go in there. I'm not sure I could zip it up. We could try that in a minute and see. It just gives you perspective. That's the only reason why I'm showing that to you, okay? Um, cell phone, easily fit in that pocket. And there's another pocket in the front of this. Okay, could do that. Um, could put business cards over here. And personally for me, of course, another chapstick would go in there. Um, Anyway, that's the inside. Like I said, all hand dyed. This is all recycled, upcycled fabric. It was something else before it got to me. Um, let's see if my Kindle Fire 8 will go here in this pocket. And no, uh, this bag is a little bit small for me to be toting my Kindle in there, but if you had a shorter iPad, or, or device tablet than, than a Kindle Fire 8, then it would most likely fit in there. 
I didn't design it for that. I have bigger bags um, that I would recommend for, and I do design those with carrying your devices in mind. Okay, that's it for this bag. You can find it over in, t in Etsy until it's gone. If you like it and it's gone by the time you see it, drop me a line. I'll see if I can't um, reproduce, reproduce something similar to it, okay? You have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe to my channel if you would. I'd really greatly appreciate it. And peace. We're out of here. Bye.